What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, we've got a lot of news today, not just JD and AH, but obviously the Twitter deal going on and some other interesting topics. But uh, Miss Amber's sister just issued a statement on uh, Instagram. I got absolutely demolished over it. I, I think that this is a, uh, a interesting, you know, it's an interesting dynamic. Like, if I had a family member that was like <laughs> completely wrong in a scenario, I think that the, the correct course of action would be to support them in, in, in private and say nothing publicly. Um, a family member that probably, you know, gets paid, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not sure why, um, but uh, she's issued a statement and it has not gone well. Um, Miss A.H.'s sister has posted an emotional message of support after the Aquaman actress lost her trial. Uh, Whitney said in her statement Sunday that she will, quote, always be proud of the fact that she testified against him, despite the jury ruling in the Pirates of the Caribbean star's favor last Wednesday. She acknowledged that both she and her sister knew the lawsuit would be an uphill battle and that the cards were, quote, stacked against them, but credited her for speaking up regardless. Well, let's actually look at the post, which had to have comments uh, limited uh, hilariously. Of course, Eve Barlow right there, um, who's got this weird relationship uh, and association with everything, but that's for another day. I still stand with you, sissy. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I will always be proud of you for standing up for yourself, both testifying both here in Virginia and in the UK, and for being the voice of so many who can't speak to the things that happen behind closed doors. Well, I mean, I think that... I, I don't think that she's doing people who need a voice any service by backing a proven liar. Uh, I don't think that it does um, people who need support any favors to... Uh, have a liar represent them now i don't you know I, I initially talked about in different videos today like i don't love people going after her you know she testified to support her sister okay whatever but like this comment you know i don't think public statements of support for a, a proven liar um somebody who by the way admitted on tape to raising their hands to their spouse um not once but twice in two different scenarios is exactly the correct um voice for the voiceless so to speak we knew that it was an uphill battle and the cards were stacked up against us but you stood up and spoke out regardless i'm so honored to testify for you and i would do it a million times over because i know what i saw and because the truth is so forever on your side mm, i don't know about that one I'm so sorry that it wasn't reflected in the decision made by this jury, but I will never give up on you, and neither will anyone who stands with you forever on your side. By the way, 3,000 likes. I don't know, who, you know, she's not exactly a super celebrity. She has 28,000 followers on Instagram. Um, that's far more than I do. I don't use Instagram that much, but if you do use it, um, I'll leave a link to mine in the, <clears throat> in the comments. Uh, it's a good way to get a hold of me. It's the quartering YT as a username. Um, but anyway, 3,000 likes. And you see, of course, Eve Barlow, otherwise known as a lot. I thought her real name was Eve Fartlow, uh, just because I was seeing that on Twitter. I, I guess her last name's actually Barlow. Um, but, you know, again, these are limited. So it's only people, She, sh you know, she basically shut down comments after you had laughing, crying emoji. Um, you see, well, a lot of really are, you know, I stand with her because laughing on their face is more brutal. I'm not really sure what that is. Laughing, crying emojis, uh, snake emojis. I think that is. Yeah. So essentially getting absolutely crushed in the, in the comments by, uh, supporters of the truth, you know, not necessarily, uh, you know, JD supporters, but you see a lot of certain uh, swirly emojis that are a lot of people familiar with. OMG, I didn't know they had a crackhead meth Barbie. I mean, some of this stuff's kind of 
kind of mean, but of course she immediately had to. Uh, this is like when um, Juicy Sommelier had a, had like his family members come out and post that they still stand with Juicy. Uh, it, it was hilarious. You can see this. Her sister Whitney Henriquez said she was proud despite the verdict. It's like uh, you you just can't accept reality. So her sister on Sunday made a first public comment on the bombshell defamation trial in which JD write, which uh, with JD writing on Instagram, I stand with you, sissy. She, of course, testified on behalf of her older sibling, telling the court that uh, JD had once raised his hands to her and called her a whore during a sensational trial that concluded on Wednesday. Well, it sounded like she, she may not have been a whore, but she was up to whore and activities, you know, bringing in other actresses while he was away filming. I mean, we saw the tape of that. Uh, I feel, I still think her kid is Elon Musk's, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. Um, and you see like, I'm so honored, blah, blah, blah. Of, you know, she can't pay the hefty sum. Her lawyer revealed Thursday, notably, um, JD's daughter, Lily Rose, who has more than 6 million Instagram followers has been silent throughout the trial and hasn't spoken out following the verdict. Hey, that's probably a good thing though. Like, that's, like, probably a normal thing for normal people to, like, just not get involved in this. Um, you know, I don't think... Ooh, that's not a great picture of her. They both have that same, like, RBF. Like, serious RBF. Um, you know, in May 18th testimony, she claimed that JD had become more controlling and unhinged as the couple's relationship progressed starting with him keeping an eye on what she wore and role she took. They started with light jokes, she said, of JD's attention to her sister's clothing. Then it intensified eventually. They had the same stylist, so he's essentially controlling what she wore to events. On Instagram, she promised her support for uh, her sister will never waver. Again, I have some, you know, it's just, her, it's her sister. I mean, what is she supposed to do? Um, you know, of course, you see a lot of the comments, of course, Whitney supports her sister. She, along with her sister's friends, were living in luxury on JD's dime. Tough to give up for both sisters. Oh, that's almost certainly the case, isn't it? Uh, they, they were just living it up uh, on somebody else's dime the whole time. Standing with her sister at McDonald's window. Special sauce? Or I think it's, do you want fries with that? I think that would be the, the more reasonable thing. Now, of course, any update on whether or not the deletion of all the scenes from Aquaman 2 is true or not, we're still, that remains to be seen. We haven't really seen Warner Brothers uh, come out and confirm, but more and more websites are kind of picking up on this rumor, which appears to all be originating from the same one or two sources. Um, in fact, I think there's a Bounding in a Comics article that goes into a little more depth. Uh, yeah, here it is, by J.B. Augustine. Um, either the petition may have gotten enough signatures or the decision on the defamation suit swayed WB or both because there's a breaking rumor that she will be completely deleted from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The scoop came from the GWW's Casey Walsh, who says the meeting was held at Warner to determine her fate and that her scenes as Mara were being cut. Sharing his findings with inquisitive minds in Twitter DMs, Walsh added that there's going to be a new test screening of the version of the film, which should be interesting. According to Fandom Wire, Walsh further claimed they will write Mare out of the script with a cover story of uh, passing during childbirth, which seemingly confirms her and Arthur's son plays a part in the narrative. Knowing the Silver Age Aquaman and the villain Black Manta, Manta uh, things don't end well for the infant. Voice actor, uh, author Greg, also picked up on Walsh's scoop, adding that there's no official word given by the studio that she's being erased, but there's also no denial either. Now, it could be that they're just, you know, letting the everything kind of chill right now. It didn't take long, though, after Johnny lost his uh, trial in the UK to have his role taken away from him from Grindelwald. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's only been, what, a couple of days? So, yes, they haven't denied anything. or Well, they've really said nothing. You know, hum so... It's interesting. I think from a business perspective, uh, from a business perspective, they really should cut her. And here's why. If you don't cut her, I'm sorry, if you cut her, 
you're not going to really, there's not a petition with 4 million signatures to keep her in, right? So you're not risking a ton financially. But if you don't cut her, that's 4 million people that have signed a digital piece of paper that said they want her gone. On top of that, that's 4 million people that could tell two or three people. If each one of those 4 million people tell two people, you're talking about 12 million potential moviegoers that are like, I'm not going to see this movie in the theater. Like the, the film simply cannot afford that level of bad press. And so I think that they're really in a position where they just, they just can't not cut her uh, there. And, and maybe that's the, maybe that's the case with how people felt uh, on the, you know, with removing him from the Grindelwald movie, but I don't know. It doesn't look good. I don't necessarily blame her sister for speaking out, but you know, I, I think if it were me, I'd probably just be laying low right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.